Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. If history and language is something you're into, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Let's do some fact checking. Let's literally check out the history of the word fact. Noun. Something that has actual existence or has actually occurred in the past. History and etymology. One of my favorite aspects of looking into the history of words is finding other words that derive from the same origin. And the word fact comes from a Proto-Indo-European root that I've actually covered before on this channel. And that was for the word doom. Whereas doom usually implies a future that cannot be changed. Fact, on the other hand, means something in the past that cannot be changed. It's something that actually happened. The Proto-Indo-European root for both of these words was de, which meant to set or to put. Many of the words born from de simply mean to act or to do. You can even see this in a word like factory. Yes, the word fact at the beginning of factory follows from the Proto-Indo-European word de. Factories put things together. They do things. They make things. Now, fact didn't come into English from its Germanic roots as the word doom did, but it was borrowed from Latin, where it referred to specifically events, occurrences, deeds, or achievement. In English, it was used primarily to refer to an evil deed, specifically. And it wasn't until the 1630s that the word fact became associated with the idea of the actual state of things, or things as they actually are. Now, another word a lot of the resources I used to make these videos recommended comparing the word fact to the word feet, as in a feat of strength or some kind of feat that you've done. That word is borrowed from French, where it still came from the same original root, but meant an action taken. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or felt you've learned something, please leave a like and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in helping to support this project of mine, you can follow the links in the description to find out how you can help. Until next time, keep on learning.